Hi everyone! For today's page I will use several different Lindy's Stam Gang uh, sprays. But first I choose a color which is, while still giving a vintage vibe, it's still somewhat neutral. And I am applying the color all over my page. While trying to make my center brighter and the edges a slightly darker shade. When my background was done, I decided to play a bit with the stencil stamping technique and I will use one of the stencils from Paper Artsy Collection designed by Kim Dello. Basically how this technique works is to spray some paint on your glass surface and dip your stencil into that paint and just plainly stamp it on your page. With this technique you can't expect the uh, crisp uh, images, but in this case this was not what I was going for. Anyway, I kept repeating this process, mostly keeping to the edge of my page, while for the leaves I chose to work with the blue color. There are two things which I really enjoy doing for my art journal pages. And first of them is darkening the edges of the page because I feel it gives the whole page more finished look and it helps pull the viewer's eye to the focal images. And the second thing is adding some splatters. Now, of course, both of these steps are optional and you can decide whether this kind of look pleases you or not. Now, after stencil stamping, comes the time for some red rubber stamping. And for this I have chosen one of my favorite stamp sets from Paper Artsy. And one of the stamps, using darker ink, I'm stamping only toward the edges. While the text stamp, using brighter ink, I'm stamping all over the page. And now comes the time for the focal images and mine come from this beautiful collection from Stamperia. Off camera I have fussy cut these images and now I'm trying to figure out the layout. For adhering the elements I am using Art by Marlene Sticky Multi Glue, as this time I didn't want my page to have any dimension. Oh, of course, I had to add some more splatters, but this time white ones using Windsor & Newton ink in white color. As the final step, I wanted to add a sentiment, and mine comes from the Tim Holtz clippings stickers. Oh, and there I found this really cute number which fits to my little house. And with that, my page was complete. I hope you like it and see you next time. Bye!